Good evening, all. Hope you had a blessed day today. Tonight, we continue our countdown of the top 100 Christian films of all time. Tonight, we're at number 57, The Agony and the Ecstasy, released in 1965. And this film stars who I believe is probably the greatest Christian actor of all time, Charlton Heston, in one of many films that he has on this list. Um, he plays Michelangelo, the famed sculptor who became a painter and painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Film also stars Rex Harrison as Pope Julius II, who hires Michelangelo to paint the Sistine Chapel. And Rex, you'll know him from My Fair Lady. Um, he, he was also in another film on this list, uh, King Richard and the Crusaders. This film also stars Diane Salento, who plays Contessa Antonio Romanella, uh, who is Charlton Heston's lover. Um, she also was nominated for an Oscar for Tom Jones and was in the movie Hombre with Paul Newman. And it also stars Harry Andrews, who had a big, uh, he plays Donato Baramonte. And Harry had a big year in 1978. He starred in Watership, Watership Down, um, Death on the Nile with Peter Ustinov as Hercule Perot, and he also starred that same year in Superman, the movie. He was one of the elders of Krypton. Now, The Agony and the Ecstasy uh, basically is about Pope Julius II and how he commissions Michelangelo to paint the, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. And he would like a memorial that will... Uh, be his legacy and live on after he dies. Michelangelo, who is a sculptor by trade, uh, doubts his ability to be able to paint anything, but divine intervention comes into play here and he gets a vision of what the ceiling should look like. Unfortunately, uh, the Pope, his vanity, and what God's vision is are two different things. And so the two men clash over what the ceiling should look like. And well, you'll have to see the movie to see who wins. <laughs> but in any event, The Agony and the Ecstasy is a beautifully done film, wonderfully acted, great story. Uh, it gives you a deeper appreciation, not only for uh, God's creations and, and um, paying attention to when he puts something in your head, you should follow through on it. But also the, the genius that was Michelangelo, the God-given talent that he had to be able to sh shift from sculptures to painting and do it well. Um, it really is, this is a historical film but it's also a well-done film, entertaining, and um, I highly recommend The Agony and the Ecstasy. This is definitely one of the better Christian films made in the 60s out there. Um, and uh, it's also good for the whole family, too. It's, uh, again, it's, it's a family film, and it, and it is a true Christian film in every sense of the word. Well, thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for watching my videos, and thank you for supporting my channel. Um, tomorrow I'll be back with number 56. Thank you again and God bless you all.